Senator White, uh, Senator Cornyn, I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, let me say to both of the nominees, I very much appreciate uh, the fact that uh, both of you have that extensive uh, trial court experience as practitioners and as a judge in the case of Ms. Jackson. I think uh, that's a very important uh, qualification for somebody who's going to sit in judgment on an appellate court that they actually know how the trial courts operate and understand the appropriate standards of review uh, on appeal. Um, both of you have a very impressive background. I uh, agree with uh, my colleagues that it's important to have uh, for the public have confidence in the judiciary. And I think part of that confidence is knowing that uh, people uh, like them uh, can be served on the bench and uh, that we applaud that uh, diversity. Um, I've noticed a difference in the way those issues have been treated in the past when my Democratic colleagues blocked, for example, Janice Rogers Brown, an African American on the DC circuit, uh, Miguel Estrada. Uh, thankfully, we've had some great uh, judges in the, uh, in the Western District and Northern District of Texas, people like Ada Brown and Jason Pulliam in San Antonio, and then uh, Asian American Circuit Court Judge Jim Ho, who was confirmed uh, for the Fifth Circuit. But since our Democratic colleagues seem to be placing so much emphasis on race, and um, I just want to ask uh, this question. None of us can choose our parents, and even if we could choose our parents, I suspect that most of us would choose the very parents we have. But what role does race play, Judge Jackson, in the kind of judge that you have been and the kind of judge you will be? Thank you, Senator. I don't think that race plays a role in the kind of judge that I have been and that I would be uh, in the way that you ask that question. I, um, as I mentioned uh, to Senator Feinstein, I, um, I'm doing a certain thing when I get my cases. I'm looking at the, the, the arguments, the facts, and the law. I'm methodically and intentionally setting aside personal views, uh, any other inappropriate considerations. And I would think that um, race would be the kind of thing that would be inappropriate to inject in my evaluation of a case. I would say that uh, my different professional background than many of the Court of Appeals judges, including my uh, district court background, which will be different if I'm confirmed than many of my, my colleagues, would bring value. Uh, it's sort of like the Oliver Wendell Holmes quote that the life of the law is not logic, it's experience. And so I've experienced life uh, in, in perhaps a different way than some of my colleagues because of who I am. And that might be valuable. Uh, I hope it would be valuable if I was confirmed to the court, the circuit court. Thank you very much. Ms. Jackson, the same question for you, please. Thank you, Senator. I agree with Judge Jackson that I don't believe race will play a role in the type of judge that I would be if confirmed. I do believe that demographic diversity of all types, even beyond race, uh, plays an important role in increasing public confidence in our courts and increases the public's ability to accept the legitimacy of court decisions. It's very akin to the way in which we guarantee a jury of one's peers and the idea that you walk into the, uh, the courtroom and 12 people from all kinds of different backgrounds uh, might uh, decide your case. Uh, I also think that demographic diversity of all types uh, helps us achieve a role modeling uh, result uh, for young students, law students, young lawyers. Uh, it's important for anyone aspiring to public service to know that that path is open to all. Well, thank you very much uh, for that answer. For what it's worth, I agree with you. It's uh, well, well said. Judge Jackson, I just have a few questions for you. Um, you know, in this town, there's a lot of people expressing themselves on a variety of topics. 
and I know you're not re responsible for what these third parties are saying, um, but I just want to ask you, first of all, are you familiar with an organization called Demand Justice? Senator, I know of Demand Justice, yes. And do you know that uh, they are spending um, money to promote candidates, uh, your, your, your nomination to this uh, circuit court? If you mean by um, advertising or, or placements in various publications, I'm aware of that. Okay. And on their website, they say they advocate uh, adding additional seats to the Supreme Court. Uh, do you think uh, Congress should add additional seats to the Supreme Court? Senator, as a sitting judge, I am bound by the Supreme Court and I don't think it's appropriate for me to comment on um, the structure or the size of the court any more than it would be for me to comment on the court's rulings. Um, I, regardless of the size, I would follow the precedents of the Supreme Court. Demand justice claims that the Supreme Court is broken. Do you think the Supreme Court is broken? S Senator, I've never said anything about uh, the Supreme Court being broken and uh, again, you know, I, I'm not able to comment on the structure, the size, the functioning even of the Supreme Court. And finally, uh, Demand Justice says that the uh, Supreme Court has been captured by partisan Republican interests on their website. Judge Jackson, Ms. Jackson, do you, uh, do you agree with that or disagree or do you uh, have no opinion. Judge well, Jackson first. Senator, I again am um, not able to make any comment about whether or not the Supreme Court is um, influenced in the way that demand justice apparently, as you say, um, believes that, that it is. Ms. So I, I don't have a comment. Thank you. Ms. Jackson? Yes, Senator, I'm, I'm not aware of that quote by demand justice or anything they've said, quite frankly. Uh, but likewise, the code of conduct for United States judges does apply to nominees as well. And so, like Judge Jackson, it would not be appropriate for me to comment on uh, any type of views about the Supreme Court. Uh, the Supreme Court's rulings uh, would be binding on me as a circuit judge. Thank you very much. Good luck to both of you. Thanks, Thank uh, Senator Corrin and Senator Whitehouse. Thanks and welcome uh, to you both to the committee. I'm sorry we're so far apart and spread out here. That's the nature of the, of the pandemic. Usually it's a setting in which we can see one another a little bit better. 